Hey guys, Alice here from Fizzy Fairy Apothecary. I am super excited to show you guys this holographic bath bomb that I've been creating. It took me maybe a month or so to get it just right to where I want it to be. So this is called Her Holographic Majesty. Um, and it's chock full of biodegradable holographic glitter as well as having a bunch on top. It smells like eucalyptus and spearmint. And this one is a package because I took it straight off of my uh, straight off of my bath bomb tray. So, I'm very excited to see how this looks because this is the first time I've tested the full final product. This one kind of goes along with my black, red, and white bath bombs. It doesn't have any charms inside. I think the charm is the glitter. So it's turning the water into this really beautiful lavender color, which I love. Purple is my favorite, which is why I want to use this purple color. Oh, it's so pretty. And then once it's done, I'll shine some light right on it, because if you guys know holographic, you know that it will look silver or whatever the main base color is until you really uh, reflect light off of it. But I can see, and hopefully you guys can see it too, um, the glitter floating, which is good because we never want glitter just going straight down to the bottom of the water. And this one is floating, but I can't promise that yours will float. Uh, what makes bath bombs float is basically if the density of the bath bomb is less than the density of the water. So a lot of times my bath bombs weigh more. Um, but also sometimes depending on how long they sit out and also depending on the weather here, it's been hot, but also humid, and hot for us is like 72 degrees, but still. It's been hot in my, my um, fizzy room. And so a few of the latest batches have floated. Uh, if you want to kind of help yours ensure to float, you can unwrap it and make sure that it's in a dry room. Don't keep your bath bombs in your bathroom unless you're going to be using them very quickly because they will absorb moisture from the air. Okay, we're about done fizzing. So I'm going to move my light and see if there's any glitter on me because I know sometimes I get people asking when they come to my table at conventions and we grab a towel if um, this will leave them glittery when they get out. And most of my bath bombs, the answer is no um, because the glitter is so lightweight, it tends to not stick to your body. Um, and I know that it, depending on who you are, you like it or you don't like it. And if you don't like it, then when, when you're done emptying the tub, you can just scoop up the glitter and scrub it all over you. It's fun. So, moving my lights, because you guys know, bathrooms are not always the best lit. So let me see what I can do. Maybe I should turn on autofocus. There we go, let's try that. Come on, Mr. Camera, work with me. Lights. Oh, here we are. Yeah, I can see it in the viewfinder. Hopefully you guys can see it. I almost fell. Do not drop a lamp into the water. It's not safe. Let's see. I just really want you guys to be able to see how good this looks. It looks so cool in person. 
It's just layers and layers and layers of the glitter. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna empty the tub when I'm done enjoying this bath. And I will see you guys in a second in your time to show you what it looks like when I empty it. Okay, you guys, my bathroom now smells amazing, as do I. And as you can see, all that is left in the tub is a bit of glitter that just needs to be rinsed away. That's it. It's some beautiful glitter, though. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any requests for which bath bomb I should do next. And I hope you guys have a great day.